Right, we've got one of your favorite ingredients, chicken, Mike. And we've got a sweet and spicy sauce for the chicken. We're going to braise it in this wonderful sauce. Lots of uh, coriander seeds and chilies in there, lemongrass, ginger, so you got all those wonderful Asian flavors. Um, it's a one-pot wonder, so we love that. It is great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen, and my favorite protein is on the menu today, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> why are you laughing? Um, <laughs> it is my favorite protein, you know that. I know, I know that, that's why I keep doing so many chicken recipes. I know, and I love it. So what is your actual chicken recipe today? Right, so we're going to do a sweet and spicy chicken. Okay. So Asian flavors there. Yep. Uh, you know, a little bit different, you know, almost like the, uh, you know, the crunchy buttermilk chicken with the uh, chili sauce on mm. there, but completely different. Right. Uh, so we're not deep frying it, <laughs> we're going to braise it in the sauce. Oh, okay, braised. It's healthy. Kind of. Well, yeah, sort of. <laughs> Healthier than fried. Yeah, exactly. And you've got pine is that pineapple? Yes, I've got a bit of pineapple as wow. well, so that's going to give us the sweetness in the sauce. It's got some chili there. That, that, that ingredient, isn't it? No, because it's not on a pizza. <laughs> it's all right on a pizza. Don't know what the country was on about that day. But anyway, uh, we're going to use that. We're going to start off by... Right, so I've got a little bit of lemongrass. So yep. we're going to get some flavour into the chicken. Mm -hmm. So I've got a pan warming up as well. Um, I'll get up some coriander seeds as well. I'm just going to lightly toast them in a pot. Okay, cool. Uh, so just lightly toast them and then we'll just crush them. But I'm just going to get this lemongrass really, really fine. Okay. And then I've got some ginger and some garlic which I've just peeled. And you can actually grate that into okay. the bowl there. Okay, and with this here, how do we know when that's ready? Do they just turn a different colour? Or yeah, so they'll, so they'll just brown. Right. So um, so I've done it in a saucepan now, like a silver-based saucepan, so you can actually see it. So if you look at the seeds now, and then once we toast them after about sort of a minute or so, you'll start smelling them, and then you'll see them go brown. I can smell that starting to brew away already. Now, which grape would you like, sir? Yes, that one. That, that one there? That would okay, be fine, this yeah. one here. So not too fine, but not <laughs> too big. Yeah, no, that's fine. That'll... that'll, that'll Distribute the flavour really nicely. Okay, nice. I hate using graters. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I keep putting graters in recipes. <laughs> uh, you want the ginger in there as well? Yeah, so garlic and ginger in there. So it's just a good way of doing it, you know. I mean, you could chop it if you wanted, but it's just a, you know, it's, it's a really fast way, and <laughs> you love it. I know, and can you give that a quick spin, thanks? Thank you, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do everything for you. <laughs> It's multitasking, Mike. I don't know how you chefs do it. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> you get somebody else to, like me. Exactly. We've got five chefs behind us. Oh yeah, the seeds are yeah. smelling really good too. Yes, and you can smell the you can smell it sort of like toasted sort of orangey mm. orangey um, flavour coming off the seeds. You can see the the, the turning the turning the slight brown colour now. You can keep going a little bit more or anywhere around there, but it's probably going to be pretty good. Okay, great. But now I'm just got chicken thigh for the chicken. So this is already boned. So the bone's already been taken out. And I'm just going to cut them you know, into some nice big chunks. And then I'm going to pop that in the bowl. And we're going to... Uh, okay. What you want to do is flavour this chicken with, with all your uh, ingredients. And you Excuse probably want to just leave it, leave it out at room temperature for about, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so. You know, you've got some big flavours in there. Ooh. Probably shouldn't do that with your flesh knife, should yeah, I? I know, I can tell it's not your knife. <laughs> Um, uh, could you do this the night before and marinate it um, Yeah, no, if you really wanted to, but I mean, mm. you've got such um, high-impact flavours in there. I mean, 20 minutes is, is fine, you know. You are okay. going to get those flavourings from uh, from that after 20 minutes. <laughs> I missed a piece of garlic, sorry about that. Could make all the difference to this recipe. That's it. Right. So we've got our, uh, got our seeds here. Just going to pop them into a board. You can do a mortar and pestle if you want, or just back of the knife, just crush them up. And then if you smell that now, you know, you really get those Ooh, aromas. Yeah, straight yeah. away. So much. So that goes in there a little bit. All right, and then we're just going to mix all that around. And then you can turn the pan up a little bit, turn pop a little up. bit of oil in, and okay. then we're just going to brown this. Excuse me. Okay. So we're just browning it. We're not cooking it, we're browning. Yeah, we're browning so we can get high heat, get some nice colour on there, and then all those flavours as well, um, with mm. that ginger and garlic, that's all going to cook together nice. and give us a really nice flour, uh, flavour. Okay, brilliant. Smelling fantastic. And all those, um, the garlic and the ginger and the, what else was it? Uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass, lemongrass all coriander sticking seeds. to that chicken, so it's going to infuse into that flavour. Beautiful. Yeah, and then that's going to perfume through mm. the sauce after. We have a sweet and spicy chicken to finish off, Mark. So the chicken's browning up quite nicely here. That's it, so you got Ooh. some colour on the chicken. You can smell, you can smell all those aromas from the Beautiful. garlic, the lemongrass, oh. the ginger in there. Yum. Right, so we're going to make a little uh, braising sauce now. So Does I've got it need little... anything else? I'll just eat it like this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's going to get better. Oh, yay. So we've got a little bit of uh, chicken stock in there. Mm-hmm. 
A uh, little bit of your favourite chilli sauce. Yeah. You know, so you can use whatever you want here, you know, like um, whichever chilli, it's hot or as mild as you want it. You know, if you don't want any spice now, you could probably just put a bit of ketchup in if you wanted. Okay. Yep. Um, just have to watch out though, it doesn't go too sweet. Um, I've got some brown sugar as well, which is going to go in there and we're just going to dissolve. Um, you could use honey if you wanted, but it's quite nice with the brown sugar. Yeah, we'll put more brown sugar in because I saw how much chilli you put in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, some more chilli going in there, some flakes and a bit of cayenne pepper as well. Just Ooh, to yeah. add to the flavour. <laughs> add to the kick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all good, mate. You love it. Yeah, no, as I've said, I've learned to love it now. And, uh, and then we've got some pineapple chunks. Nice. So um, we're going to pop them in so you get a nice bit of... Uh, texture in there, get some sweetness, and a little bit of the juice as well goes in there as well. So it's going to give you a nice little fruity hit. I've got a garlic clove as well. I'm just going to slice that nice and thin. I'm going to pop that in, and then once the chicken's ready, we'll pour it on and reduce it down. Okay. Mm. So are we going to use the pineapple chunks, or we're we just using? Yeah, the no, juice? we're going to we're going to pop them. In. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, do you not like pineapple chunks? Well, just it's not something we've cooked with very often. And apart from sweet and sour pork, when do you ever use pineapple? Oh. Sweet and spicy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, so beautiful colour on there. Yeah, that all goes in. So it's quite liquidy at the moment. That's our braise. Is what we call yeah, our yeah, but, that, but that's good. That's what you want, you know. So you can see you've got nice colour on the chicken, but the chicken's it's quite chunky, so it's still raw. And what we want to do now, bring it to the boil, and we're just going to boil it down. Okay. Uh, the liquid's going to evaporate. It's going to go thick. It's going to go glazed. All those flavours are going to go in together, and it's going to cook the chicken. More importantly, I'm going to put the pineapple in as well. That can all cook down. Okay, what team would you do you want the set? Do you want this? Yeah, no, so we want to bring moment. it down quite fast. Oh, okay, cool. You know, it's quite a fast uh, recipe. Great. And then uh, we've got some spring onions. Just going to uh, slice them up for a bit of garnish, a bit of coriander. And then last minute as well, I'm going to put a knob of butter in, which is just yes. going to bring it all together. We're back. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard you say butter. Um, <laughs> nice. And is that, that's what we add at the end. Yeah, and then we're just going to serve it, just serve it with some rice um, mm. or even noodles. Noodles would be quite nice. Oh, yeah. There you go. Fantastic. Got any noodles that the um, top twins left from yesterday? Yeah, no. We could use some of that. Yeah, no, that was that was really good actually. Yeah, that was nice. Eh? It, was a it was a great dish. Okay, so the spring yeah. onions. And spring onions, bit of coriander. Coriander. Kind of yummy. So just roughly chop that, and that goes in last minute. You know, and it's just a great, it's, you know, full of flavoured dish. It's going to be a nice sticky glaze around the chicken, and it's just an alternative to like, you know, a deep fried chicken. You know, Brilliant. if you don't want a deep fry, it, this is a great recipe to do. How do you know with this chicken bubbling away here that it's ready? By the time it reduces down, is it yeah. kind of? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. You, you, you've got so much liquid there, but the time that's cooked down and reduced down, which will probably take about, you know, five six minutes or so, it's going to get nice and glazed. That chicken will be cooked in that time because you've pre-fried it and then you've got all that cooking time in the sauce, which will cook it through. You know, if the chicken was a bit bigger, if you wanted to leave it as um, thighs, yeah. it would take longer. You know, you could do this in the oven as well. You could put it all in and slow cook it in the oven. You know, there's, there's so many different options. <laughs> Look at all those red bits of chilli in there. <laughs> My goodness. OK, one other question on this chicken. Are you going to serve it whole, like, as in chunks, or are we going to shred it down? What are we going to well, do? Well, we can do it. So there's two options, there. So you can serve it like that if you want, or when the sauce is nice and glazed, pull it off, let it cool down a little bit, and get two forks, and you can sort oh, of okay, shred it. Cool. And and mix it through the sauce, you get a really oh. nice sticky sauce with those nice uh, lumps of pineapple in there. Nice That's work. Quite nice. Yeah, no, that'll be fantastic. Thank you so much, Mark. It's going to be delicious. And of course, the recipe is always at our website, thecafe.co.nz. And hey Mark, over to you and your sweet and spicy chicken. Look at that. It's nice. nice. Beautiful. I've just tried it. It's uh, it's it's quite spicy. I had a little try too when you went looking, and it is very spicy. It's very nice though. You've got the coriander, you've got mm. the spring onions, you've got the pineapple and the rice. That'll all tone it down It'll slightly. Beautiful. Okay, cool. What are you doing tomorrow? Well, I'm going to be joined by Gemma Hefferman, and we're going to make a smoky mambo prawn and sticky mango avocado salsa. Oh, that sounds awesome. delicious. Mm.